Okay, here we have a sodium atom and a chloride atom, and they are um, sitting next to each other in water. Now, a sodium atom tends to want to give up an, an electron, and I don't want to get too much into the reasons for this. If you want to know about it, there's plenty of uh, information that you can read in, in uh, chemistry textbooks and, um, or online. Um, about why that is, but essentially it's because um, there is an extra electron in the outer um, in the outer um, orbit of the sodium atom, and chloride is actually missing um, an electron in its outer orbit. So what happens is the electron, the extra electron from sodium comes over and joins the uh, outer orbit of the chloride atom. When they are suspended, when they are dissolved with each other in an aqueous solution in water. So that makes um, the sodium have only 10 electrons and it has 11 protons so it is going to have a net positive charge. It is a positively charged ion otherwise known as a cation. The chloride, since it now has an extra electron, has, if you count them, it ha now has 18 electrons, but it ha only has 17 protons. Therefore, it is going to have a net negative charge. So we have 17 protons and 18 electrons, so we have a, negative, a charge of negative 1. Okay? And therefore, the chloride is an anion, or negative molecule, or a negative ion.